but our 2021 laptop lineup is looking good. This here is the Predator Triton 500 SE. And like the 300 SE before it, we designed it for travel and plenty of mayhem. Whether you want to take it to work, go to a friend's house, or just lounge around the house and go through your Game Pass PC library and say, what do I want to be today? And at just 19.9 millimeters, it has a more understated look with the pure silver coating and a cold to the touch metallic chassis. But that isn't really the most unique thing about this laptop. In truth, the display is extremely important. You could say gone or farewell to the days of Full HD because this uses a 16 inch 16 by 10 WQXGA panel. That's 2560 by 1600, much higher than its QHD counterparts out there. In addition to that, you do have a 240 hertz refresh rate and three millisecond overdrive response time. So you basically get everything. You get the high-end hardware, you get the fast refresh, and the good-looking display, and the design. Now, because we did design these for travel, battery is an important thing, but anybody who's used a gaming laptop before you will tell you that that's not a thing. That's not the case with the 500 SE. With NVIDIA Optimus technology and dynamic display switching, you can actually get up to 12 hours of battery out of this. And it does this by basically switching between the discrete and the non-discrete GPU, depending on what you're doing at the time. So you finally can get a last minute game or attend to a last minute render or edit without having to scrounge for an outlet because you realize you're at 50% battery remaining. That's no longer an issue. Now if you're like me, you probably plan to use the 500 SE as a desktop replacement and that means the ports are extremely important. No problem there, you have two Thunderbolt 4 ports and two USB 3.2s including HDMI 2.1. This will allow you to connect to three 4K additional displays should you so choose. It's quite awesome. Now we also added uh, something that was a point of contention for some gaming laptops and that is an SD 7.0 card reader. Basically this will allow you to very quickly edit and store and transfer data files such as video or photos very fast. If you're a streamer or if you record your gameplay it will also allow you to give you an extra way to carry those without having to carry an external hard drive around. Now what does this all mean without the performance to back it up? Fortunately we have you covered there. This has an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 up to 64 gigabytes of DDR4 3200 RAM and very fast M.2 PCIe NVMe storage. Like we said, best of the best. And since cooling is always a priority for us, we put inside our 5th gen Aeroblade 3D fan technology and Vortex Flow optimization. Driving this all is an 11th gen Intel Core i9 processor with up to 8 cores to play around with as you see fit. Fortunately, we've invited our good friend from Intel, Steve Long, the Vice President of Sales and Marketing, to break down exactly why this was the perfect fit for the 500 SE. Thank you, Clark. It's a privilege to be at GPC. And I'm going to admit, I miss the high fives, but face-to-face -face or virtual, it's always a highlight to usher in Acer's latest innovations. The last 18 months have reaffirmed what we do, our purpose. We make the world better through the power of technology. And the PC is at the heart of the human digital experience, the essential tool to be productive, connected, and entertain. This is why today I'm excited to announce the launch of this Predator Triton 500 SE. The evolution of the Predator series is yet again an example of Acer's commitment to understanding what their audience wants. It was designed for both the millennial professional and the enthusiast. To meet their needs requires the best inside. This is why Intel's latest, the 11th gen Intel Core H series, is at the center of the experience. The latest H series processors provide industry leading performance and continue our drumbeat of execution and innovation. Listen to what we pack in here. Up to eight cores, PCIe Gen 4, 19% gen on gen improvements in multi-threaded tasks, Wi-Fi 6 and 6E, up to five gigahertz to work and play. That starts getting me excited, and I know I'm never gonna be on the League of Legends leaderboard, but I do know that what matters is having the best gameplay experience. If you take Intel's platform capabilities, combine them with the gaming publisher optimization work that we do, the gameplay on this system is unmatched. Delivering desktop caliber gameplay on a thin and light system, it's only possible through Acer and Intel co-engineering. Huge congrats to the Acer team, but most of all, congratulations to all the enthusiasts and professional creators out there. This is a winning product. Now Clark, maybe now that I have this system in my hands, I can finally beat you. <laughs>